Two more left to load in the Louisiana Oops. Derby. Uh -oh. And we've got a horse that broke through the starting gate there. That would be the three antiquarian John Velasquez getting back up to his feet there. And you see the rest of the horses loaded into the starting gate. They will bring this horse through the gate or around the back. A track state veterinarian will take a look over and see if they approve this horse to move forward. They also have to take a look at John Velasquez, yeah, who seems to be, appears to be kind of. He's limping quite a bit. He must have he must have slammed into the side of the gate yeah, there when he I mean, broke through. Yeah, I mean, it's a zinger. He's gonna, probably going to be okay. If the horse is not bleeding, if he didn't cut himself, um, he didn't do enough to ne necessitate a scratch, but it's never good. Look, they're, they're sitting on go. They're on fire in these starting gates waiting for him to open. And he barely hit the front of the gate, yet it still opened. So this horse only has two starts underneath the belt. They can be, you know, triggered by anything. I mean, Jerry, just put us into the jockey's perspective there, what's going through John Velasquez's mind, as he has to, if they allow this horse to run, get back aboard. It's never a good sign because the horses are keyed up in his mind. It's going to be hard to get him to relax in the race. Um, but he's going to give it a go. And he's probably excited that he's not the one that has to run. <laughs> 12 horse just left to load. That is your lukewarm favorite track phantom with Joel Rosario. We're set. It's the Louisiana Derby. Here's John G. Dooley. Here we go. They're in the gate. And they're off. The Twinspires.com Louisiana Derby. And there's Awesome Rudo who strides away. Hall of Fame with Antiquarian who broke through the gate prior to the start. And now Track Phantom with this early bid for Joel Rosario to take the early lead as they head toward the first turn. It's Track Phantom who's emerged in front of Hall of Fame with common defense right there. Awesome Ruta in fourth, Antiquarian in fifth, and Tuscan Gold is sixth as they enter the first turn. That comes next level, one off the rail, this real man violin, and they have seven furlongs to run as these leaders go to the back of this historic New Orleans track. Anna Marie is racing outside of Agate Road, who settled with the rail, and Catching Freedom has dropped back to be 11th and last. The opening quarter covered in 23.49 seconds. So it's Track Phantom. Track Phantom dictates the pace here. From Common Defense, who stays close to Track Phantom, was allowed to dictate terms here for the run to the half mile pole. With on the outside, Tuscan Gold in the gold cap, and Hall of Fame is running in fourth. Awesome route of the red cap in fifth. Then comes Antiquary in a wide sixth. Next level is seventh. Real men file in eighth between horses and six lengths from Tuscan Gold, who leads the Louisiana Derby field past the half mile. Then comes Anna Marie still together with Anchor Road, and the trailer remains catching freedom. Half mile in 48.33 seconds. Three quarters for Track Phantom, one minute 12.54 seconds. It's Track Phantom who leads coming toward the quarter pole. But Common Defense has been right there with the front runner. It's Track Phantom and Common Defense. They're a neck apart as they turn for home. Antiquarian is sweeping outside of Tuscan Gold. Then toward the inside, Awesome Ruta. Hall of Fame down there with the rail. Catching Freedom is unwinding on the extreme outside to the final quarter of a mile. And it's Common Defense toward the inside. Track Phantom determined. Track Phantom sticking that neck out. Just holds Common Defense. Moving up Tuscan Gold. And here it comes Catching Freedom, who's charging for Flavian Pratt. They come past the 16th. Last to first. It's Catching Freedom to win the Louisiana Derby. Anna Marie was second to Catching Freedom. Tuscan Gold third. Track Phantom finished fourth. Catching Freedom. What a day for Brad Cox and Flavian Pratt. They take the Louisiana Derby. Yeah, I mean, we, we just mentioned earlier about the improvement that these horses can show from race to race and catching freedom. Brad Cox said he train he doesn't train real well, but he usually runs well. Uh, he was only beaten a length and three quarters in the Risen Star. Lost a lot of ground. He's, he's, he's not that wide at this point, so he's only in, like, in the two path here. He has to angle around everybody as they turn for home, but he simply was the, the best closer in the field. I'll say this, right? This is the fourth running of this race at a mile and three sixteenths. This is the third slowest running time, 156.16, and it's been a pretty fast track today at the fairground. So I don't really know how strong this race is going to turn out to be, but give credit. I mean, catching freedom, we said he was only beating a length and three quarters in the Risen Star, and he was battling it out in the run to the wire, and uh, the pace wasn't that fast, and he was last at one point early, but he made up all the ground. Track Phantom had no things excuse. his own way, went slightly faster than he did in the middle portions of the race, which his trainer Steve Asmussen wanted. No excuse, bottomed out the last eighth of a mile. Hall of Fame was in a striking position. Yep. Going into the far turn, he didn't have the he had answer. Nothing. 
Um, nobody, I thought, had any visible excuse. Good effort for Honor Marie to bounce back on a fast racetrack. Uh, he now has obviously enough points to move on, and he had a big win at Churchill Downs in the Kentucky Jockey Club. So that's a plus when you look ahead to the Kentucky Derby. And a good effort for Tuscan Gold with the lack of experience to be third. So when you see a race like this, it usually tells you that there's no standout in the race, even though yes. he was drawing away at the end. And I will go out on a limb right now and say, I don't think any of these horses are wearing roses on the first Saturday in May. No, I Old agree statement. with you. Why is that so much? Because it wasn't visually as impressive Visually, to you? and Randy's the pace guy, it wasn't that fast on a track that's been playing fair all day long. Um, you, you can't knock him. Mm -hmm. He's a, he's a, you'd love to own him. All right? yeah. He's a nice horse. But I just think there's horses that are faster than him yeah, that too. are going to improve as well.